So before we do anything else, we're going to go over some of the basic functions of the pen tool and also some of the other path editing tools that allow us to edit the curves and paths that we create with the pen tool. First of all, go to the toolbox and select the pen tool. And you'll see that with the pen tool, we can create curves and paths by pointing and clicking or by clicking and dragging to create smooth points. The next item up in the toolbar would be the freeform pen tool. This tool can be used in one of two ways. It can either be used like a pencil where I can simply draw out any shape that I like and it will create a path based on that shape that I drew or it can be used to create a magnetic path if we go up to the optional toolbar at the top. And what this tool does now that I've changed it to the magnetic tool is it allows me to pick out an area of contrast in a picture and by dragging along the edge the pen tool now sticks to that edge as I draw it. This is a very good tool for creating outlines and not having to draw the paths manually. As you can see that the pen is clinging to the edges of the sunflower as I draw around it. So that is the other function of the freeform pen tool and to access this I simply go to the options bar at the top and make sure that the magnetic option is selected. Once again this is the freeform pen tool and all I'm doing is dragging this along the center edge where the yellow meets the blue and that's the area of contrast and the pen is going to cling to that area of contrast to give me a path right around this flower and that's about it for that tool the next tool we're going to take a look at is the add anchor point tool the add anchor point tool allows us to take an existing path that we have created already and add points to it. This will allow us to have a little bit more control where we need it and to add the points that we need where we need them if we didn't get them all in the first time we created this path. Conversely, the delete anchor point tool will delete anchor points on an existing path. therefore simplifying our path. The next tool in the pen toolbox is the convert point tool. The convert point tool allows you to take these control handles that get dragged out when you click and drag on the control points so that you can change the direction and the strength of the curve. You can also, if you just simply click on it, if you don't click and drag on the control handles, if you click on the point itself, if it's a round, smooth point, it will turn it into a straight point or a hard corner point. It won't be the smooth corner point. If you want to turn this into a smooth corner point, you click and you drag, and that will give you control handles that will allow you to pull out these curves and change their direction and their strength. Next up in the uh, path editing tools will be the actual direct selection tool and the path selection tool. The, direct, the path selection tool will allow you to select the entire path and move it around. This selects the entire path of an object and allows you to move it around. The di direct selection tool which is the hollow arrow allows you to select the points of a path and edit them. Once I have the point selected I can then edit the control handles. Uh, but you notice that if there's a double handle that it moves both handles with the direct selection tool. In order to move just one handle at a time I need to choose the convert point tool and that allows me to move just one handle at a time and not both of them. 
Now let's go on to the types of curves that you can make using the pen tool.